alternative media, uh, somebody in alternative media saying things about them that they don't like. So that's what's happening here. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Oh, and by the way, they also ask the agent for the online on store on star code so that they might be able to better listen to uh, conversations that were happening inside the vehicle until they were ready until they were uh, able to retrieve it. So this whole thing stinks to high heaven. And every time they do something, it just makes it more obvious that this is not about Pete uh, breaking the law. This is not about Pete being involved in some crazy ass conspiracy. Um, it's, it's about them retaliating. This is, this is strictly retaliation. And the more things they do like this, the more obvious it becomes. Okay, so um, that's what I have to report to you guys today. Let me think of some other things. Oh, by the way, I am getting um, I am getting word that Aunt, uh, that uh, Clive and Bundy is not coming to Oregon. That is rumor. And what else? And that um, and that things are happening in Burns. They are. Um, there's a little campground down there. It's called the Narrows. And the woman who owns it is such an awesome woman. She has been supportive up to this point. She's receiving death threats and threatening phone calls from people across the United States because she is not allowing uh, people to camp there anymore uh, because she feels like her life is is uh, becoming endangered because of some of the activity and some of the things that are being said. So uh, the owner, wonderful person, she's a great person. Please do not call her. I am begging you guys, please do not call her and threaten her. You're only going to get yourself in trouble and you put her in jeopardy when you do that. Okay, so um, here it is. Here is the uh, message that Pete wanted you guys to hear today. And so, here we go. I couldn't believe it. I go somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Everybody, Pete said to me here today is February 9th. I just got the disturbing news. A couple of bits of news that, uh, that should hurt each and every one of you. Now, listen, remember what I'm saying here, okay? Always remember what I'm saying. Now is the time for you to say enough is enough in the United States of America. I've been saying this over and over and over again. As a matter of fact, the entire system hates it when I do a rally cry for people to get up, walk up and up, and say enough is enough in the, in the United States of America. The people that are running our establishment, okay? I'm not anti-government. I'm anti-establishment. The people that are running our establishment right now are setting out to destroy the good people that are telling the truth. I heard today that the FBI, because they hate me so much, because I've mentioned that the congressional testimony, that they lied in court about Waco, that they covered up TWA Flight 800, that they were going to do exactly what they did, and that was to set up an ambush of LaVoy Seneca and all the others that have been killed, and they're probably disappointed that they didn't. Uh, but because I brought up the truth about their activity, now they want to call and report my vehicle stolen. Isn't that kind of the people that are working on behalf of the American people to supposedly protect us? They're actually out there trying to destroy the people that are holding them accountable. I'm a member of the press, and so help me God, I will speak freely for the First Amendment, and they will absolutely be crushed under the weight of their own truth and that is that they are the Federal Bureau of Incompetence and Cover-Ups. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pete Santilli. This is what I need you to do. Yeah. Perfect. 
you have it. A little message from Pete today. But um, I also want to let you guys know that Gavin Syme has posted on our Facebook page. Um, go to the Facebook page. Um, I believe it is talknetworknews.com. I, I, I believe. I hope. Anyway. But it's our uh, former Guerrilla Media Network page. And he has put up a nice little video explaining what his campaign is. And that's all about um, calling local legislators, calling Oregon. Uh, he's put up there for everybody to see places to call and demand that these guys, all of these guys, be taken out of, of solitary confinement and put them in, in, in um, general population so that they can uh, do a little bit better and so that they can make more phone calls and so that they can help support their own cases and talk to their families and be able to uh, visit with their own with their families in a little bit better atmosphere. Um, you know, they're keeping these guys in their cell for 23 hours a day. They're giving them one hour to uh, be about. And, you know, it's Gavin says that, you know, he thinks these guys are going to do great in general population. This is not prison. This is a county lockup. So it's not like it's not like they're in a prison situation. And he thinks they're going to do they would do much better to be in in a general population. So so uh, he needs your help with that. Please go. I'll pe I'll post up the links here in just a few minutes on uh, on this video as soon as we get it processed and get it out there for the for our general population and so you know what you guys hang in there hang tough um i did have a chance to speak with pete uh and and ammon is right there uh they're all doing great uh ryan bundy um ryan Payne, um you know and we want to remember too that just because uh john ritzheimer isn't in the um uh, same facility he is being held in Arizona, and we cannot forget about him. Okay, so we're going to get his information, his mailing address. Please write letters to John uh, Ritzheimer to let him know that he's not forgotten. So we love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. You know, this is this is a clear case that you know the FBI is surveilling people, and and uh, you know it's just it's it's kind of it's kind of just really. Um, it's, I don't even, it's surrealistic still. I can't even believe that they're doing that. But what they did today was real low. Even um, the Gresham police that came out who were very nice, very courteous, apologetic, um, they couldn't have been nicer, were even saying, wow, you know, what What a ass wipe thing to do to somebody. So hang in there, you guys. I'll be back. I'll let you know what's happening the best that I can here on the ground. A lot of things, um, you know, in the in the future are coming our way. We're positive. We're um, we we really are. We're ready to. Um, we're really ready to to take this on and prove that, in the, at the very least, that you know the the government's case against all people concerned in this is weak at best. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Hang in there. Talk to you soon. <clears throat> All right, guys. So that was an update from Deb Jordan and Pete Santilli from jail about what's going on there. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, for all you people still wanting to claim Pete Santilli, who is in jail, is an FBI informant or some crap. Look at the description of this video, because I, I, I missed the very beginning of it. Deb Jordan woke up this morning to a knock on her motel, her motel room door and was informed by Gresham Portland Police that the rental car that she had in the parking lot had been reported by Enterprise out of Cincinnati as stolen. When Pete, when Deb and Pete's attorney, Tom Cohn, called Enterprise to confirm, Enterprise told them, the devious actions of an FBI agent who was located in Central Oregon. The FBI told Enterprise agents that Pete Santilli had been incarcerated in, Mul in Mul Multnomah County Jail since January 26 and that two unauthorized women were driving the rental car leased in Pete Santilli's name. They also told Enterprise 
agent that these two women were planning a trip to Burns, Oregon, where there was an active illegal occupation of a wildlife refuge and asked for the OnStar code so they could listen to their conversations inside the vehicle. Inside the vehicle. All right, and they're putting these guys in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. Are you going to sit here and try and tell me that they don't want to shut these guys up? That they don't want their message getting out? I guarantee they do. And uh, this is crazy, y'all. I mean, it just gets worse and worse. And uh, I'm really starting to get afraid that uh, they're just going to off these guys. God help me. We got we got to start making some calls and, and uh, letting our elected officials know that that this is ridiculous. Go back and scroll through my videos. I got a link. All your congressmen. You know, take two minutes. Email or call somebody in Oregon and tell them, you know, violation of the First Amendment. It's not acceptable. So, yep, that's your update for today. That's it. That's all I got.